Want to feature these? These are part of. This is from Hypebeast. Also, sorry for uh, featuring ten seventeen Elites, um, all black mono boots. I love these a lot because I think I mentioned prior that I forgot what collection it was. It must have been a recent one. It must have been like twenty twenty three or twenty twenty, not twenty 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 two maybe. Let's check it quickly on my phone because my computer is going to take ages to flip and load this up but i think it was a the recent collection of elites where they had this great denim suit look with the white boot and i think the white slides i don't think they were boots actually i think they might have been white slides they're one of my favorite looks in that entire collection and i saw the shoes i was like oh these are nice isn't it this is like his version of a foam runner or like of a balenci of a bottega veneta puddle boot that he did which i thought was brilliant yeah it was the last collection actually it was a spring 2023 collection of elites um, if you do get it up in your own time, you'll see look number, what is it? Look number 28. And I'll actually put it up on the screen so you'll see it if you're watching the show. But if you're listening, if you can type in yourself, spring 2023 menswear, you'll see, a, you know, the Elite's collection. There was a look number 28 that featured a white boot that was similar to what we see on the screen. It may be the same, I think it is, because I think they had, a, they had a boot and also had a slide that they did. And I guess they had the white one last season and they're bringing out a black or maybe the black is coming out. No, I think the black is from this collection, actually. Um, if I'm looking at these other pictures, it looks like the black is from this collection also because the next picture after 28, 29 features a model where, no, picture number, look number 31 actually features the pair of them on there. And I was a fan of them straight away um, just because of the shape, the silhouette, um, how bulky they are, the thickness of the sole, um, the square toe, I just like what he's doing with them overall and it just looks a little bit more unique than you know there was an ambush pair of puddle boots that she did that i felt like were a little bit too on the nose in terms of copying what Patek Veneta did and weren't really that innovative or creative but i feel like matthew williams when it comes to elites um especially elites i feel like maybe the givenchy stuff for me hasn't necessarily hit when it comes to footwear but i still appreciate that they don't look like anything else on the market that's something that people don't give the guy credit enough for. There's a lot of naysayers when it comes to Matthew Williams and stuff, which I don't really understand even to this day, because from my, you know, limited over, you know, um, far, no, yeah, from my very limited looking from a far view, he seems like a pretty nice dude. And from the interviews I read about him, he seems kind of cool. He seems kind of gentle, very thoughtful type of person. But for some reason, the high fashion Twitter people or people on social media don't tend to like him. No, I think they like him. So I take that back. They like him as a person i see a lot of girls and guys um thirsting over him and thinking he's good looking and stuff and making some very weird and lewd comments about what they would do if they saw him in front of him and stuff which is probably nice for someone like himself who probably takes a lot of time to look after themselves and work out and eat well it's nice validation but when it comes to his fashion they don't have a lot of good words to say about him at Givenchy, which might have to do with Givenchy and what it was as a brand and what that meant to people and the designer that was there prior. Um, I forgot her name. I think it was Claire something. And then before that, obviously, Ricardo Tishi and what he did. There's some legendary stuff. Um, but I think you know that that lady that was there beforehand was somebody that a lot of the fashion Twitter people loved but wasn't necessarily commercially successful and then of course you get Matthew Williams to come in and redo the brand and become a little bit more relevant and you might lose a little bit of the panache or the kind of um you know the attention to detail or the finish that would come from somebody that is a schooled fashion student uh or a student of fashion with a capital f you lose it a little bit with someone that that would matthew but what you do get is the ability to make you know unique things cool things that kind of touch on the site guys that will become desirable and even though this is a leak shoe i feel like the same person that is able to kind of design these or have people in the team that can design things like this can also carry over to Givenchy, uh, which is obviously doing at the moment but I really like these elite shoes. They kind of look a little bit um, modular in their appeal, but they look like they've all been. What is that? Is that a two piece? I don't know what that is. Is that two piece only? Jesus Christ. Like there's a base and then the top. Because you can see the seam there around the side, but they look incredible in my opinion. Um, I really like the big bulky look of them. They remind me a little bit of some Rick boots that I have as well in terms of the look. On the side here, you've got the 1017 Elites 9SM on the side there. 97SM, sorry, written on the side there, or 9SM. I got that wrong again, but I really do like the look of them. The text here says... Um, it's consistently pushing boundaries between two sort of label present a pair of mono slides which I think I mentioned previously an open toe silhouette 
and construction with a premium all leather back leather duh, duh. can it be open toe if it's just the back that's open that's a bit weird isn't it um, and while the spring 2023 silhouette came with a different indifferent approach to summer football 10 90 70 duh, 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 duh. um the slip-on silhouette is designed with molded construction, while its blacked-out color scheme is complemented with an EVA foam outer. Additionally, the standout feature from the design comes in the form of a square toe, which is available. Okay, so they're available now at the Hypebeast store for four eighty dollars. Um, so they are out now to buy and purchase. But I do like this mono boot. I think it looks absolutely incredible, in my opinion, and definitely something that I'd probably wear ahead of wearing a puddle boot because puddle boots, I feel like I've been overdone, right? Fashion kids are flipping, ruined that boot. They've really rinsed it and kind of beaten it into the ground. I think a particular puddle boot is like the fashion version of a flipping Com de Garçon play um, Converse's. If you want to be a little bit more fashion forward, you wear the Bottega Veneta flipping puddle boots so people know what time you're on because you're wearing, you know, X. Bottega Veneta Daniel Lee design Bottega Veneta puddle boots whatever it may be cool you're a bit on the money but if you're just a regular fashion head you just have the Conver Conde Garza or play ones but if you're someone like myself who thinks you're, of yourself to be you know pushing the boundaries and whatnot and really you know counterculture and underground and has their finger on the pulse and ear to the ground and all that sort of nonsense then you wear the Alix mono boots for sure and then again, these in white in that jean suit color, I mean, in that jean suit fit from the lookbook from the show, sorry, in 2023. Absolute money, absolute money. I'm a big fan of these and love how they look. So definitely check them out if you haven't already. Check them out if you haven't already. Do check them out if you haven't already.